Hello everybody, welcome to Being Simple. In this video, we will discuss about design of tension members as per IS 800 2007. Tension members are linear members subjected to axial forces and these axial forces causes elongation to the members. These members can sustain loads up to the ultimate load at which point the members failed by rupture. Sometimes before reaching the rupture point, the members can also be failed by excessive elongation when the member yields over a major portion of its length. The member can also be failed by block shear of the bolt end bolted regions. So we got three types of failure of members in tension. Number one, yielding of gross section number two rupture of critical section and number three is block shear so these are three types of failure the member can undergo due to tension here the, the design strength due to the yielding of gross section is denoted by tdg which is equal to ag fy by gamma m0 ag is the full section area suppose you have one angle section like this AG is full area of this angle section. So AG equals to cross area of the section. FY is ill stress of the material. And gamma M0 is called partial safety factor. This value of partial safety factor can be found out from table 5 of IS 800-2007. Now coming to the rupture of critical section. Suppose I have a plate like this. And it is connected to a gasset with some bolts so the member can fail through this section this section is called critical section and at this critical section you have to find out the net area which is a n which is nothing but the area at this cross section and you have to subtract the area due to these holes suppose this diameter is d and you have three holes here so and this distance is B and this uh, thickness is let's say T so it will be B minus you have three volts here so 3 into D into thickness sometimes the bolts arrangement may be staggered like this this distance is called gauge distance this is called pitch for the staggered arrangement this diameter is T this is B thickness is T then the A n is calculated by this formula B minus N D n plus summation of P S I square by 4 G I into T. And when you get the net area, the design strength, the rupture of the critical section will be T D n equals to 0.9 A n F U by gamma M1. F U is the ultimate stress of material gamma m1 partial safety factor for failure at ultimate stress table 5 now for threaded rods the value is tdn 0.9 an fu by gamma 1 this the formula is same an is the net root area at the threaded section now coming to single angles single angles can be connected to a gasset plate like this if you get uh, view from this so you will get this is the single angle it is connected like this this is the thickness t this is the length W. This distance is called WL. This is the bolt gauge distance. Now, to get the rupture strength of single angles, you have to use this formula. TDN is to 0.9 ANC FU by gamma M1 plus beta AGO FY by gamma zero you all know that uh, if you and if y gamma m0 m1 you all know what is a n c and a g o keep it in mind that here n means net area g means gross area and for c c is connected leg which means this angle this leg is connected 
so C for connected length and O for outstand length which is not connected. A and C we get net area of the connected leg. A G O gross area of outstand leg. The gross area of the outstand leg means this area and the net area means this area minus whole area and you see here is a beta. This beta can be calculated as beta is equal to 1.4 0 0.0 minus 0 0.076 w by t fy by fu bs by lc w is the angle leg length t is the thickness of the angle if y and f u you know bs is w plus w t minus t for a bolted connection and if it is welded connection then b s equal to w lc is equals to distance between outermost bolts or weld lengths along load direction. This means if the angle is connected like this then LC will be distance between outermost bolts, this distance. And if this is welded connection then if the total weld length is this then it will be LC. This beta value should be less than equals to F U gamma M0 by F Y gamma M1 into 0.9. Kindly note that this 0.9 value is not uh, in the code. In uh, amendments of 2012, the code has included this 0.9. So make it correction in your code as 800, page 33. And beta value should be greater than equal to 0.7. It means if you get the beta value uh, less than 0.7 you must take 0.7. Now one thing is remaining design strength due to block shear. Block shear means that suppose a angle is connected like this due to the block shear failure the angle may fail like this. That is it may be the failure plane. So how to calculate the block shear strength? The formula is the two formula TDB number one is equals to AVG FY by root 3 gamma M0 plus 0.9 ATN FU by gamma M1 and number two TDB2 equals to 0.9 AVN FU by root 3 gamma M1 plus ATG FY by gamma M0. So only unknown are AVG, AVN, ATG, ATN. G means gross, N means net. Now what is V for? V is along the force line. Suppose force is acting along this. This direction is called V and perpendicular to this direction is T. So AVG is gross area. AVG is gross area parallel to force. As this line I have drawn the cross area along this line is AVG and if you subtract the area for the bolts from here you will get AVN which is net area parallel to force line. Now what about ATG? It is perpendicular to this line. This portion is cross area perpendicular to force line and if you subtract for uh, the bolt you will get the net area. So you have got all the strength of the member. Building of gross section is TDG. You have calculated structure is TDN. You have calculated and block shear is TDB which is minimum of TDB1 and TDB2. So you have got all these TDG, TDN and TDB. So the design strength intention TD equals to minimum of TDG, TDN, TDB. So that's all friends. In the next video we will do an example and calculate a design strength of a angle section connected by bolts. These are only the member strength we have calculated. We have not designed the connection. There may be connection failure also but we have in this video we only discussed about the design of members, the strength of members in tension. In later videos we will discuss about the connection strength of bolts, welds, etc. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.